Hello everyone, today I would like to show you a new Elite Creature Spec Merge tutorial and how everything works. So yeah, let's begin. What you need to do is, I download some resource pack here, right? So when you open it, you're gonna see something like this. So how you can actually match all these packs is you have to, and I'm really, really, uh, um, repeating you have to right use only the resource packs not the packs yeah so you need to take this one out put it here and then to avoid any problems delete this from this folder right and then you continue right resource pack again if you uh, find out that the next pack resource pack is called again the resource yeah just rename it yeah don't override it yeah? so i will show you so let's say oh yeah this is rs2 so when i do this it's gonna tell me obviously what do you want to do well i don't want to do this so what i'm going to do i'm going to rename this into something else it doesn't really matter yeah and now i'm going to put it here delete yeah and I, again and now let, let's say let's let's just say there is nothing like that right there's no resource pack there is just assets and this folder right so what you have to do is or how I'm doing it so I do this I put the whole file from from that folder here into this one and just delete this because you cannot have that into in, in the merger and why I'm doing it because I don't want to create another zip and extract files, put the files. I just do it in one, one simple zip and that's it, right? Close the zip, this is done, yeah. So now I have everything ready, right? So what you need to do is you probably um, going to have some model engine and things like that, yeah? So put that as well inside, yeah? Every, every single resource pack you want to match, you're gonna put into this folder. And then, what you need to do is just hit the match packs. So, it's now going to say something to me about, right, so there will be some model data. Okay, model data. Already being added, added. I can, actually read the whole um, output and I just gonna scroll through it because sometimes obviously there might be a problem um, that some custom all the data were same right so it will it will write you here but this one has everything pretty much safe so there is no it's just this is just basically saying that the the whole folder or the the line has been added to 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 the resource pack yeah so this is nothing really there's no problem and then when you have the match resource pack this is this is exactly you see this is exactly what I left in one resource pack and you don't need it right so you can delete it but it merges as well yeah so that's why I'm saying you need to put only resource packs if you put anything else it will be a mess and it will cause uh, things not to work properly so really mind that and then as you see this is just the simple stuff as always you just create a zip from these files right or you can just uh, you know transfer it to your server and you're ready to go so when we open this I'm gonna show you something. Um, yeah, atlases are generated. Yeah, so you have all the atlases you need. So you don't need to, let's say, you don't need to do any extra work around around that. Unless again, if you have some things which are not supposed to be there, then it will be it will be broken, right? So you need to really make sure that there are only resource packs 
yeah this is a big big warning and then obviously all the folders are here as you can see everything is fine and yeah this is all you need to do and now let's say you have another resource pack yeah so you know you buy a pack and you want to add another resource pack here just add it here yeah and what I will usually do I just delete all of these right like that take the merged one right put it here so I have one which is fully merged and then I'm adding new ones to, to the existing merged one that's it and then you again hit the merge button and every single time you adding as any any new resource packs you need to do the merging because of the atlases right and the custom all the data so what this application does with custom all data is that if there is a conflict between custom all data it will try to find the, the next value which is available right and also it will print it into the lock so you will see it where the things or where the change happened so you can go and trace it back right in the output all right so that's pretty much all and this is going to this is going to really ease your problems with resource packs and uh, yeah if you have any guys if you have any suggestions please let us know because this is literally just a new thing and we also uh, might not know everything about what people might need right so yeah let us know and yeah have a good day and finally the, the biggest pain is going to <laughs> is going to end see you next time